Hi, I'm Debbie Anderson for About.com. If you've just recently been laid off, it's a devastating thing to go through. However, there are a few things that you can do to weather the storm a little bit easier. So today we're going to cover the top 10 things that you need to do within the first five days of being unemployed. Now the first thing you need to do is if you've become unemployed through no fault of your own, and you do qualify for unemployment insurance benefits, immediately fill out the forms to file a claim for your unemployment insurance benefits with your local unemployment agency. The second thing you need to do is prepare yourself both mentally and emotionally for the challenges that lie ahead. So take your notepad and a pencil, write down the 10 things that you love the most about your previous employment experience. The third thing you need to do on the list is go grocery shopping and stock up on any canned soups, canned vegetables, and any other non-perishable food items that you will need for the next two months. To help reduce the cost of this sudden shopping spree, print or clip coupons from either online or from your local newspaper. Fourth, calculate how much cash you have on hand or that you can have to cover your expenses for the next two months. Start by calculating all of the money that you have held in financial institutions and your cash on hand reserves. Write this number down on a notepad. Next. Calculate the amount of money that you expect to receive from any severance packages, unused vacation pay that's due you, or the amount of money that you expect to receive from your unemployment insurance benefits for at least the first six weeks. Write these numbers down only if they apply to your current situation. Next, go through your home and calculate how many unused and unwanted items that you have lying around your house that can be sold for extra cash. Only count the items in your resale number if you can realistically sell that item within the first month of unemployment. Underestimate the perceived resale value of each item. Write the total number of how much money you expect to receive from sold items on your notepad. Add the numbers together on your notepad and circle this total number. This is the amount of money that you have to live on for the first two months of your unemployment period. Should your unemployment period last longer than two months, this is also the same amount of money that you need to be able to stretch for the months following while you're still looking for work. This leads us to tip number five. Immediately start reducing your cost of living. Assess your monthly expenses and cancel or eliminate any and all expenses that are not absolutely essential to your day-to-day -day living. Create a new monthly household budget that covers only the essentials, including basic insurance coverages. Add 10% to the total monthly expense number for contingency planning. This new number is your new monthly spending budget. Number six, start raising extra cash. Do this by posting newspaper or online for sale or auction site ads to sell all of the unwanted items that you expected to sell within the first month of your unemployment. For tip number seven, you want to go back through and reread those 10 things that you wrote down on a notepad that said, these are the things I love about my previous employment experience. Now with all of this fresh in your mind, sit down at the computer and start reworking your resume. When writing your resume, if you have multiple skill sets, create numerous tailored versions of your resume to help emphasize each of your strengths. Once you're finished with your resume, for tip number eight, go ahead and email that out to five good friends, family members, and associates, and ask them for constructive feedback so that you can get a better idea of how your resume reads. Number nine, use online job search engines, job boards, and recruiting services to post your resume to as many job ads that are specific to your targeted industry and geographic location interests as you can. Finally, number 10, go ahead and set your weekly job search and resume submission goals. With these 10 simple tips, you're sure to get off to an organized start when weathering the storm of a sudden unemployment experience. Thank you for watching. To learn more, please visit us on the web at about.com.